Waiting up there to catch them off guard. Hey, that's a trick that we've seen G2 do before, but not this time around. The spray from afar gives Kellogg's the opening, and Leo's able to trade back. Trying to buy that space. They need to close in the distance. Diffusing up against this many players, and utility isn't really going to be possible. And left down to just the one. Well, Bunker will fall and give the pistol to G2. A very convincing, to an even greater extent, when you play with Spectres. And you got to take some close-range fights. you got to force up the... Well, you could take close-range fights, or you could just start headshotting everyone. Yassine's got 20 HP left. They've taken down Leo. They've got the sight. This is ridiculous. Okay, a snake fight's going to go down. That's not ideal. A Volva can't fall back. He's stuck, and the wall's going to be broken. His retreat is completely covered, and at this point... He's probably <laughs> dead. The wall up to at least provide him that little bit he's not even gonna leave. of space, but he's tucking like up, this. man. This is unexpected. I like it. They've turned it into almost a positive. The only problem is when that wall goes, I think he was kind of expecting them to maybe push a little bit quicker than this. The patience could end up working out, but as they begin to move, it's actually just Yuki spamming through the smoke. What? All right, two players for the second go down as well. Backup weapon, like he's a sheriff, but come on, drop him a, a specter or something, you know? Like, what, what's what's going on? Why are we maxing money and not dropping? Uh, well, I guess it made no difference. He died in... <laughs> no, no freebies yeah. for the other team, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it's just one of those scenarios where he goes, well, I know he's probably going to die, so I, or oh. kill everyone. So I'll just, I'll just not even bother risking another weapon the thing is though this is looking much better for guild already a solid start but leo is already tagged a little bit low now the shock dart along with the aftershock it's actually gonna get him a kill kellogg's will go down for a second time so solid utility usage from guild to keep the advantage and leo is just looking to take over i thought for sure he's gonna get a second somehow cold mentor has made this look doable now there's obviously no res avova's already used it in this round State of Guild's economy, absolutely it would. Getting that plant down, extra ult orb, left. even better. But Bonker is close by. He is ready to pounce the second that Evova starts this plant. It'll be pretty safe. Bonker stepping up above. Does Evova check this? No. No, he doesn't. That's going to be a defuse for Bonker. And it's going to be a round on the board for Guild at long last. Surviving with their operator. Carrying forward another theory, weapon in the form of a phantom. Hey, it's all right. The problem is, I have absolutely no idea, and they use it as bait. That is a perfect Under's Fury. I love that from G2. Safe has also gone, un gone undetected, but only manages to get himself the one kill. Now there's a wall down, and the B side is lost. The mid control and kitchen has been so weak for guild so far. G2 have sensed that weakness. They sent players above, under. And into Chu. Leo at least catching a Vova, but Mixwell survives. A sliver of health all that separates him. Shock darts on their way in, but not finding their mark. And so, now Viper's Pit will remain up. Still a snake bite to play with as well for Mixwell. Shock darts being returned over. Mixwell has to step into that, or it's going to go down. And it looks like he's going to sacrifice it. He has already been dropped. We've also seen the showstopper expended, but almost just used to try and pull them back, make sure that there's nobody within the plant. And at this stage, th there just isn't the time. It's ticking down and Draken's already out of there. Bonker will die. And again, it's going to be another round on the board for G2. He's got pistol friends to back him up. Pistol pals. And he's on top of the wall. Look at this. A low from above. Free kill for Draken. He's out of there. And that's exactly what they needed. A way back in. Oh, oh, God, no, Kellogg, stop. What is with this guy and pushing pistols? He loves it. So ridiculously aggressive. Mixo has now been dinked up as well. I spoke about impact of ultimates, but it seems the lockdown forcing them back has done everything. And now it leaves some weapons to be retrieved, which Guild have already done. And only two men left standing. Now, Cold Amenta is almost just waiting for players to try and flank him from behind. It's expected that Guild would make some sort of play, but it also gives Nuki a little bit of space to move. Now, he knows that there can't be anybody coming in on the flank because his teammates left. already got that covered. The problem now, Mitch, they have very little time. And the expected outcome at the moment is that there's still going to be multiple players waiting on this B side. One yeah, they're ready in kitchen remaining. as well. Cold Amanda tried to sneak on through, but there were two guys watching it. 
And right now, Nuki is just waiting for someone to take him down. Six to two, we go. Officially open for another <laughs> co commentator. Um, just Twitter, Instagram, doesn't matter. Just hit me up anywhere. Um, you don't need to be qualified. Uh, just just don't be Tom. That's fair. That, that is it. That, so if I applied, I'd automatically fail. But, you know, maybe you I'll give it a go anyway. Now we're going to see the aggressive <gasps> play from Safe. He almost goes down to the boom bot, and the nade might catch him on the way back out. He found the opener, but it pretty much comes to nothing with the res already coming through. Draken, though, this time is going to catch out that lurk from Mixwell. They're starting to become aware of players trying to make pressure into mid. Now all of the players have actually rotated in. It's only Draken on the other side just holding for any aggression back into mid. The plant likely to come through. Kellogg's, he's going to find himself one. And this deadly duo have managed to bring this back into a doable position. But now it comes up to Kellogg's. And you know what? This is where they need that aggressive play. This is where they need that blade storm too. But he's been spotted out. Three knives remaining. He's got time on his side if he can run it down. But well, they're just going to group up together. Shockingly getting rid of the knives. It's the Vandal play, and it's Leo to win it out. Diffuse goes to Guild, and a lockdown is sat there to stop them. Hunter's Fury to counter off. He misses. Oh, that was close. Oh, that stun from Bonker couldn't have been better timed. He saved his teammate there, no doubt, after the missed shot. And now again, things become tough for G2. Sat back of over. He's going to pick off one. He's got Cold Amenta alongside him. And one by one, the guild retake fall. G2 are holding on to this round. And Safe just can't connect a bullet in this one. Retreating now we're going to become very difficult as he's being hunted. And Mixwell... What? <laughs> Mixwell not get the kill. All right. Oh. A Volva doesn't. Yeah. They, they switched. They well, Volva has the res, so... It makes sense that he's the one looking to get aggressive. And those pinks, they go very well for Guild. The two-man advantage now there is being locked down. Thanks to Viper's Pit. And although the res comes through, they've lost a significant amount of map control. Look at where the players on AR. It pushed all the way up. Safe is just waiting to take a peek and catch them on the flank through the middle. You see taking a contact play and falling. And here's Safe. Ready to go out and drop the spike. Massive. Oh, well, I, I, they're remaining. just losing individual fights absolutely everywhere. Getting completely blindsided by these players. The turret down will, in fact, detect Kellogg's as he pushes through. And Leo. I, I genuinely think that Guild are going to cause them some real problems. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Pistol round is going to be so important as we're talking about. You see G2. Defensive side, full rotating to the A side. They've realized, but have they realized too late? Mixwell stuck in a corner, just being pushed okay. on and Five getting down, away with okay. murder. He should have been dead 10 minutes ago. But with that, Guild are actually on the back foot by quite a bit. Man disadvantage, not a lot They're of health. Waiting. In fact, as they get healed up, they still end up with no armor. And, well, look at where Kellogg's is. That's a free oh. kill. Maybe not. But he gets away with it. Yeah, I thought for a second Drachen was going to get the perfect timing and Kellogg's realizes, okay, he's going to be hunted down and you're seeing, but well, he's following his doppelganger, but he's not probably not going to find him. Kellogg's is just going to run all the way back to his teammates. I like this. We speak about this man and how sometimes there's over-aggression. This time, I think he's played that absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think it's... It looks like they're going to try and challenge the ultimate already, sending... A few pieces here and there. Safe just about getting away with that one. Now, they're not going to have any ability to bring him back in terms of HP, so he'll be stuck on low health for the remainder of the round. And considering they're about to go left. straight into an ultimate, this could be a big problem. The Viper's pick going to almost bring them within range. They have so much utility left. Wow. They're just delaying them. There's 20 seconds, Mitch. They have to go now. Yeah, it's time to run and gun at this one. Up above, they're going to go right over, bypassing oh. the ultimate. But 10 seconds left. They need to get this spike on the floor. It's being planted, but here comes Evolva, not able to get there in time. Spike planted. Now, she was on the other foot. The socks have been put on at long last. They've waited in the box since Christmas, Tom. And it looks like Guild are about to take a bit of a run in them because with favor, but they have a bit of a lurk out from safe. He's trying to catch this B aggression. Well, there is B aggression. These guys even coming through the smoke. Kellogg's with another extremely aggressive play, but this time it falls on its behind. 
Please oh, God. and another attempt. I mean, that's the right call. You see guys outside B, you don't know what's happening. You push up A. But with the position of Cold Amenta and realizing there's no further contact, you should have been ready for that. Last Yuki can only do so much. And it's going to be left onto Cold Amenta now. And he's got to be careful. Oh. Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. I thought for a second the safe wasn't going to get that perfect lurk from him. I also want to say there's a, a small detail coming out from... Two can maintain their lead. They're looking for some victims in middle. And again, it's going to be Mixwell Draken. and Chu. But it's on the other foot this time because Draken makes it right the way up. But Mixwell shuts him down. He's the man that always lurks through that tunnel. So you're not going to you're not gonna catch him out with that trick. Mm. He knows what's up. That's good cover as well, because I was looking at Avova's position in particular. Like, he gets caught out a little bit by the poison cloud, and it allows Draken to cross. So the fact that then Mixwell is still covering the back of his teammate, like, that that's solid. Like, I was thinking that would be an easy kill, so something to at least give them a way back in. Now, the B take is always going to be difficult when you don't have that Sage Wolf. Like, it's a lot tougher to make sure that you're getting an easy plant, so it makes the openers all the more important. Luckily, that's exactly what Safe has done. Now they have that secondary lurk, but you see, he gets nothing. You see, is still going to be lurking around Kitchen, though, doubling back on himself. And if Sage's oh position my. is given away, oh. this could be an easy double, and it is! You seen! Turning on a dime to take that one, and okay, he's gonna go down. Hello? Oh, Nuki not able to land oh, the shot, the pixel does him dirty, and you seen even gets a third. What a dominant round by Gil. Sure, they burned up ultimates. Can click and try to take that Viper down. No real idea where she is. Draken gonna be tagged up, but spraying Kellogg's down. Cold Amanta refreshing his health, getting his reload. But with pistols playing into this, it's about as bad as it gets. Very hard to find okay. the impact. Now they're close. Still struggling to clear this out. Mixo and Nuki playing from above. Mixo actually going to go all the way back. He's trying to find someone on the edge. If he was to get a kill while floating, I would be a little bit infuriated. But I've come to learn that that's a very common thing in the ropes at left. the moment plant coming through they're going for the more default swoops and he actually works it out the calculation made another kill coming through for mixwell but can draken get this over the line now that smoke will fade in a moment the pit will disperse and give the idea over he finds the one and that's the player with the rifle the drop down and draken's gonna hold on it's the clutch from you Guild again. G2 do so much in this round. So much. Every single round already. We're going to see utility used again. Sova combining alongside with the Breach to just find these positions. Force Kellogg's off angles. And again, it's an afterplant. But this time, there's a double lurk. Two players coming in from behind. This could make things really awkward for G2. And they actually come through in tandem. Already just shutting this down. Leo with an aggressive swing. And now, all that is left is the op. The A defender and the last man standing puts on a pretty good attempt. But a and the, th the thing is, they Ooh. played out of tube a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Here's the first, the second for Nuke. He keeps on going. This time, the stun will be enough to deal with him. I mean, Draken taking down Kellogg's on, on site like Ooh. this, maybe to be in kitchen but his timing is so good he's looking the wrong way though they're already up at yellow here we go with the swing oh, and the one. he only gets one of over so down, good to take team. that back and manage to put them into a winnable position oh the nano swarm he knows he's up front easy spray but the trade is in from mixwell okay they get aggressive he's been fragging up on the a side this time switching it up and kellogg's oh he doesn't hit that shot May not matter though. Yuki has just been dominating over the last couple of rounds. Kellogg's, he's going to find another. And Yuki, that's another double kill. I think that's three rounds back to back that he's been finding openers for the team. And now it's left onto Leo and Draken. The comeback has been fantastic in this second half. Getting themselves through the peak. Might give something to Leo here. That's at least one. But is he going to expect the second player? Almost definitely not. They're actually going to use a snake bite though. And there's the peak coming back out. They've turned it into no. a 2v3 scenario. G side. Oh no. It's already on the side. And here it is. The kill from Ooh, Evolva. The both. second to close it. And OT we go. A Spectre. Ultimately. Plenty of time left for G2 still to move. And they still have the wall. Which is normally going to give them the ability to get that plant down. 
Nuki, though, looking to collect the close angle and the snap straight onto the head. The stun, though, is perfect, but he's already taken two. Bonka desperately trying to find something back and still has that aftershock. The spam, I don't think it's going to nail anyone just yet as Evolva survives on minimal HP. It is tough now for Guild to get back in as the afterplants always look solid, but Bonka again, this breach, it's just flying. Oh, that flash is so good. Kellogg's can't really peek out just yet. It's Evolva to take the contact. He's been so good in the last couple of rounds, and it looks like he's good enough here, too, alongside Mixwell. Kellogg's has got a really good position, but he doesn't get anything for it. Draken's so quick to take him down. The drone even spots out Nuke, but he overstays his welcome, and Leo makes sure to kick him out. Although Mixwell finds one from the backside now. He's being pressured to dash. How does Yasin still get a kill? It might not matter for G2. The questions of how and why can take the back burner for now. Cole Dementa, the final remaining player. A one versus three. And Tom, look at what he's up against. He's got a breach. He's got Yasin. And then post-plant lineups from Draken. Pretty tough round. Yeah, I, I think nigh on impossible. And look at Bonka. He, he's just making sure. There's no way that he'd be expecting anybody to come in from behind. He's going to try and jump in and tap the spike. Maybe bait them into a peek. It, maybe trying to make them think that they missed some sort of lineup. And it does actually pull your scene a little bit forward. But he won't be able to hit the kill onto Draken. It goes to a second. Uh, take out and put Sage in. Oh, wow. Very early aggression indeed. Bonker almost loses his life. Yeah, I think Breach has just been so important as well. Like, I... I really like this composition. I, I would maybe like put a Cypher in there coming into the KO meta especially. We'll see how things develop on that one. Gonna see the, the drone pop through. It will give information of a player close. And as we've seen in these afterplants, it's been fairly successful. I think I've over actually taken a bit of damage there. And Bonker in. again has managed to find himself a kill. Turning things into a three versus three. But again... It just seems that every single time G2 get into these situations, it has been really difficult to, for Guild to dig them out of it. Now, this time, Draken actually has some counter utility. We've seen him use it to deny their space initially. This time, he's trying to deny them a little more. Cold Amenta, though, has just scanned up a couple of players and is going to try and throw in some shock darts and has whittled them even lower. A really good opportunity here for G2 to take home another map point. But Draken has other ideas. A quick kill onto at least one of the players. Mixwell, though, just raised down two and it's left onto Bunker. No hope as Mixwell will convert it. Switching sides. Four kills from Mix Mixwell in that round. What an incredible performance. Putting him up on 30 kills and it was needed to try and make a move and he's going to get his way all the way in towards the spawn. A perfect position to potentially deny them but Evolva, he stopped the plant. Spike down, B. Oh, you see, coming around the side, but he's running and spraying, and Mixwell takes him down. Nuki with another G2 on the verge of closing this one out. Only two players left, Safe and Draken. They're stuck behind Yellow and Sight. The spike dropped left. in the open, and players absolutely everywhere. This seems near impossible to make work, and with Cole Demented dealing with Safe, Draken is soon dead, surely. The first Into the pistol round. It's looking like an early aggressive play towards this B side, but look at the read currently coming out from Guild. They've got Yassine playing a cheeky angle in the corner. I don't even think he's been spotted yet, but he might not even be needed. His two teammates have found a couple, and this wall is only going to play into his hands, but he gets nothing! Absolutely nothing done! But Draken is so quick with the re-peek in that it leaves it down to two. Nuki being super low in HP is going to heal himself up as Evova scouts out the site. They'll be ready to go together in a moment, knowing that there's just that one player. But here come the reinforcements. They're barreling through middle and just buying time on the side is Bonker. By the time he falls, everyone else is here to help. Agent Switch. Normally the player we focus on as the Sentinel. Draken, this is why I'm so excited to see. He was always an incredibly flashy AWPer when it came to Counter-Strike for people who don't know. You see, though, he might get caught. The turret gives things away. But now it's Leo being pincered. Left in an awkward spot, but he goes huge. Two off the back. He's going to push back into the dark cover to try and take home a third. But nonetheless, Mitch, he's bought time. He's done damage as well. Cold Dementa easily taken down by a couple of bullets. And as Nuki creeps his way to the window, oh, no. there's already a player waiting, but not with his weapon out. Close behind him. The shutters go down, but Nuki 
is just waiting patiently, avoids the flash and is just still sat at the back of the site. The spike planted for him and he doesn't move a muscle. He just sits and waits for safe. Well, Bonker is screwed. Like, even getting a kill here would be an absolute miracle. As you mentioned, he was a solo b-hole with no gun. I expect that they were thinking that there'd be more of a battle into mid, maybe given Draken an opportunity to find a kill, and then that gun can be juggled over. Instead, a straight-up B play from G2, an almost direct counter to what Guild were hoping for, and now they have to go for a full-on retake, and, well, they've got utility to play with, but there are no ults. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very tough one. At least they've got the rifles, but G2 are tucked in. They're playing contact on the first player for the back site to swing, but they smoke them off. Guild getting every single kill. The recon now dealt with. Evolva spam is good. He gets himself the one, but needs to show up huge as they go into the smoke. Another goes his way before he eventually falls. Nukia holding on yet again on the back site. Will win them out the round. Mike, something that we don't like. Do guild maybe maybe guild typically will play this on, on like the A and mid site? Like they must have something because going towards B right oh, now, like oh. running in blind is almost suicide. But Leo, he's made sure that they pay a hefty price for it. You now retrieved himself a vandal. And the res that is such Oh my god, what? I am I, I thought it was a mistake. He's on his There it is. Look the TP. The information is there is to play with Draken gets the first. He's gonna go out for a little bit more. Not connecting the shot this time around though. It's time to move to the back site and hold down the fort with Leo who's here to help. Phantom in hand, time is so low. Shots are missing, but all they need do is delay, and delay they will. With 10 on the clock, Kellogg's is alone and has absolutely no chance of winning this one out. Nice shot onto Yassine. He's even gonna creep up a little further and try to make this really costly. With an extra 15 seconds, it might have even been winnable. But unfortunately, the Darts of Guild have that info that there's players here, because the Sky Flash obviously lets you know. And here's Kellogg's. Coming around the back of the site, looking to catch them off with the knives, but safe. Side swipes that spray. It was so close. I felt like it was it was dead on. Leo gets out with 50 HP. And the attackers will oh. they're in a very good spot, to be honest. Oh, they're so close, man. Oh, it's the same as having to just sit in the open just to try and keep Leo alive. But while all of the ruckus is going on, Mixo is making moves, making plays. And you can see that the rest of the team are gonna start their double back. The realization comes through that if we can now get ourselves into the B site, make enough noise to pull a rotation, Mixwell will almost definitely have a free kill. This is something G2 are so good at, man. Feeling out the opponents and seeing where the holes are. They will find those gaps and it's always Mixwell. Playing a Cypher, it suits him even more in that role. And just being able to get up and make sure that Guild are constantly paranoid about any map control that they do not definitively left. have a hold on. This hold ultimate, on. going to be countered out by the Hunter's Fury, it won't really buy any time, but the Nano Swarms do. As the rotates come in, though, oh, that's man. where Mixwell strikes. Grabs himself a kill, gets out. Oh. He's not greedy, but Yassine has to be dealt with. And right now, no one can take him down. Nukia, 10 seconds left, manages to drop him, and now they'll get that plant in. Leo is going to need to 1v2 and make that, well, yeah, 1v2, because he, he's just going to kill Cold Amenta. The first one might be for free, but, well, there has been no clutch going in their direction thus far. Leo already being spotted out expecting maybe someone to be a little bit closer but again they're both doubling up and yuki just doesn't miss from these scenarios it's, it's another yeah yeah he, next he's time a though, you know person. don't know <laughs> oh, look they're in wine great position by draken and i love having your jet here being able to dash out afterwards doesn't even need to though he'll keep it up and just spam through that smoke able to dash at any point that he needs to it's that comfort you can play so aggressive with it you see it's in the corner and they haven't spotted spike him. Down, mid. A quick mow down, dropping the spike and almost winning the round single-handedly at this point, leaving Kellogg's all by himself. He's like, hey, guys. Hey, guys, I got it. Knows exactly what's going on. Doesn't want to overextend into this, but Kellogg's re-pinks it and takes him down. Sure, Mixwell will fall. The rest of the team's still alive and primed to just push straight into the site. Seekers have given quite a bit away as well to Guild, so they know that this is a full execution into the B site. Bonker ducking down, but he's given his spot away and he gets nothing! That looked like a free kill for Bonker and instead he ends up being beheaded.
Nuki saving his teammate once more. Two versus four. I can't see it happening. I don't see a way back in. No, no, I think this one is uh, going to be clean for G2, especially when Nuki is still alive. We well, you know this guy could take down four. If it's a 1v4, I'll give Guild a 50-50 chance. But <laughs> when he's got teammates bagging him up, I think it's... Uh... Well, they know. They know it's done. They're waiting outside just seeing if they can catch some exits. One of the things I'll say about Bonker, because I, I always see the dude getting a lot, of, a lot of flag. And what I'll say is, if you look at Haven especially, their mid-round calls are so good that he brings the value without bringing the aim. In a role that doesn't allow you to have that much freedom. You're supporting your teammates in doing so. Although I will say Nuki is just being stupidly good. Look at Kellogg. He's in. He's sneaking up behind. But Yassine is watching it for his teammates. That's exactly what you need. The gap's covered. Draken spotted, but he gets back in safely. And they've got three players here to defend this. Yassine can even fall back and they can play retake with the ulti. And it looks like that's exactly what they want to do. But then he gets tagged up. That camera revealing him. And Mixwell shutting down what was a huge threat in the form of the lockdown. Unfortunately, it all falls on him. A one versus four. An ace clutch. And the first goes his way. But that's going to be it. No chance. No possibility of him being able to bring that one back. A, a solid hold coming in from Gil. I like that we have that little party going on. Obviously, with it being Ryan Central's birthday, it just, it times up so well. Unless everybody in chat, wish the man a happy day. Oh, see ya. That was a shot and a half. Let's go. Kellogg Savova opened up the site last round of the half. This is what we want to see. Keeping a competitive G2 want to push up to seven. There's players in heaven. They know that. All the info to play with here. And Kellogg's is just waiting. He wants to jump up. He wants to get that damage done. And here it is. Oh, the right click. Not quite landing, but double wall bangs. What? It's all left on the Draken. A lockdown going to pop. And it's going to detain two. He can he can send it. He, send it. Oh, no. It's, Go, it's Draken. Bait, hey. Pick up the weapon. It is, but if he takes that first fight, oh, it's too late now. You've lost. <laughs> I'm just jumping and shooting. The thing is, I actually, you I think Avova actually dodged. Don't get me wrong. I have absolutely zero problem with that, but I think you have to have a set set of rules that are different when it comes to playing anti ecos. Otherwise, cool. it's just. He's got a sheriff in the pistol. It's. All right. Still beneficial overall, but it can definitely hurt you. Yeah, sheriff got the kill and did some damage, but. Guild are still making good ground towards this site. Avova, the only remaining A defender, is able to at least catch Leo. I think it was like 20 HP on the way through. And the Lurker... Oh, well, now you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's players everywhere. Draken tried to dash out on short, but Nuki is coming through. Man advantage now to play with here. If G2 win this pistol, they are miles ahead yet again. And we already saw Guild lose out because they couldn't... Oh, the wall up. What a play by Nuki. Oh, my God. I, I honestly, I could watch this. Blinded. Grounded. Kellogg's man, one away now. And they're slow walking up there. He already he's used his dash though. So no get out of jail free card this time around. Ulti online, but he's out of the round. Mixwell's tucked in and not being revealed. This could left. be huge. He's completely free on the site. Evolva somehow spots him, but his, a. or sorry, Leo spots him, but he takes him down. That was so clean, so quick and safe left alone now. Manages to drop one, but it's a 1v4. He's stepping around like a lunatic. 15 seconds left. It's time to go. There's no way he gets away with it. He's he's gone. He's done. He's dead. G2 have got 10 on the... To catch them later. The spray, Cold Amenta, not going to get any reward. And Leo, well, he tags them up, but I think it's, it's about time to run out of here and right into the arms of Avova. Good pick. Sight lost, but G2 still have that man advantage to play with. No ultis online anymore, and time starting to become a bit of a problem. They will need to push into this site soon. And they're waiting for Avova's flank to come to completion, but I think they need to make a little bit of noise before he's able to really get anything done. And Cole Dement is doing a damn good job of it. Going out there, Avova's able to swing through the smoke and catch them from behind, and it's easy, easily done. Get back. He's covering blank but there's no way they Watching can get past oh, moving into heaven Yuki. now to help out his teammate Yuki's gonna go on for free he's just walked up mid he just went on a little stroll what? and that gives them so much free information now they can actually fight into this site and they've got a man advantage oh, mitch left. it's gone from a five on what four to a four on three in a matter of seconds and we're gonna see the hunter's fury pop 
trying its best to at least do a little bit of damage, but nothing really granted here. Guild, they need to cling on to life. They really do. What a disaster with Draken falling on short. Here's the paranoia coming in. And Leo, he'll try it oh. fast. Answering up against Cordamenta and leaving it into the 2v2. He's being healed only barely. Those spams just about avoiding him. A player dropped on sight. And Leo avoids him. Ring a ring a rosy. Running down the clock as best he can. And a right click to close it out. Incredible clutch by Leo to keep them alive. That's unreal. To do that in a last second scenario. A switch to the pistol. A jumping headshot to close it. Sure. We've seen situations. He's kept them in this map. And Menta. Oh, it's the classic. And the peak coming out. They're still going back for more. But this time, Mixwell will fall. Yeah, he was snuck in there and wine. And with Kellogg's peaking, he can't help but feel like he could have gotten away with so much more if he let them just run forward. Maybe they spotted him as he was getting in there. I'm not exactly sure on the Stop timing. It. Stop <gasps> it. Menta. He's pulling it back. Yassine's on 10 HP. This is Guild back up against the wall. Yassine's going to use his 10 HP as a bit of a bait, moving towards the A site and trying to make some noise or catch aggression. Oh, they faked it. They, they faked completely. Instant cancellation. Now, Leo, he's going to be caught on the cross. Oh, if Nuke wins no. this, the spike's on the floor. The attempt by Yassine, he gets a kill, but that spike needs to be retrieved. Bonkers already snuck past and probably hopes that this is the gap in the defense that they will not be ready for. But in fact, Evolva staring right at him. Good damage done. A headshot connected, but it's only a bulldog. Cordamenta coming in with the big gun, not aware that Bonker can see him. Upgrade to the Vandal is there. Yassine is still alive. I do not know how. And swinging even further, but Evolva takes him down. It's all on 